Last question. The height of the bar could be modeled by that. How high is the bar when if t is zero? Okay, 1.2. Bar was cut after 2.4 seconds. How high is it? Okay, minus 2 times 2.4 squared plus 5 times 2.4 plus 1.2. 1.68 meters. I hope I typed that in right. I'm so tired. <laughs> How many seconds after it was hit did the ball pass over the halfway line? So, in other words, you have to solve minus 2t squared plus 5t plus 1.2 equals 3.2. So that's minus 2t squared plus 5t. Minus 2 equals 0. Multiply by minus 1, 2t squared plus 5, uh, minus 5t plus 2 equals 0. That's t minus 2 and 2t minus 1. <coughs> The second answer too, because what's happening is if you think about the uh, well, maybe not, maybe it's the first answer. If you think about the graph, time and height, it starts off at 1.2 and increases and decreases. So that's why there's two times. Height was decreasing, so it's on the way down. So yeah, I still think it's the second time. Find the derivative. Minus 4t plus 5. Bring down the power, reduce the power by 1. And hence, oh yeah, so uh, that's the derivative. And then to find the time when it's at its maximum, you make it equal to 0. So you get t is 5 over 4, 1.25, right? So, 1.25 seconds. I hope so. Later in the game, Q hits the ball, the time of the height of the ball, T is a quadra, X time of the ball. The time the ball was one meter high when Q hit it. Its greatest height was five meters, which it reached after two seconds. It hit the ground without being caught. Well, if that's the greatest height, it's symmetric, so I'm saying it's going to look wah, something like that. Now, it's interesting because I feel like there's a third piece of information that I'm not seeing here. Later in the game, when Keith hits the ball, the time to height the ball, but the T, the time the ball, this time the ball was one meter high when Keith hit it. Its greatest height was five meters, it was reached after two seconds. It hit the ground without being caught. So I think, yeah, symmetry argument. The third answer they must be looking for is 4-1. Yeah. 
Keep buys a new herd usually cost 30 trade, keeps get discount of 15%, so knock off 15% and that will give them 28.05. Keith also buys a jersey, this costs 49.15, so it's back at 23%, so the 49.50 is 120 trade. Work out the fat on this jersey. So how much fat did he pay on it, I think is what they're saying, huh? I think that's what they're saying, but I'm not confident. 49.50 divided by 103 means 1% 1 is 402, blah, blah, blah. But 23% would be 926. Let's test this out. So that means I think it's 40, 24, and then times add on 23%. Does that bring it up to the price of 49.50? Yeah, it does. So I think the VAT was 9.26 on it. I think, I think. Because I think what they're saying is this 49.50 includes the VAT, so it's 123%. End of exam. Yeah.